Hello there marketing fans, welcome along to another episode from Adventures in Internet Marketing. Now in this episode I want to address something that many of you have asked me over the past few weeks and indeed months and it's all to do with keyword research. Some of you might be familiar with the fact that I have a video on YouTube which is all about how to do keyword research and you can find it on my channel and it's a video that's been you know pretty popular, uh, it's had nearly 20,000 views and obviously lots of people have benefited from it and more importantly they've asked me some feedback stuff at the bottom of the video in the comments section and one thing that I always notice keeps coming up is for local businesses how to do keyword research for local businesses and one of the questions is well you know does this video talk about that well the answer is that that original video was aimed at people who have an international or online business not for local businesses so that's what I'm going to address here is actually show you how to use the Google keyword tool if you are a local business and this will apply to you whether you're using uh, Google for paid search advertising or whether you're using it for you know ranking in Google you know just using the organic search engine so either way this will apply and it will help you massively now the first thing to do and um, you'll notice by the way that I've already filled out an occupation and an area uh, and I'll talk about that in a second but the very first thing you need to do is actually go over to the Google keyword tool and uh, you, the best way to find that is to go to Google itself and type in keyword tool and hit enter and the top two results will usually be the Google keyword tool now you will notice that the very top result is google.com and the one underneath it is google.co.uk now you would think that the google.co.uk result is the one that you want to go for but actually once you sign in uh, at least in my experience once you sign in you actually get redirected to google.com anyway so kind of doesn't really matter which one you choose so go ahead and choose one of those anyway and then come over here and this is where it'll take you to now you also need to make sure that you sign in because if you don't sign in then you do get different results uh, they're generally not quite as accurate and also there's not as many uh, search results so if you don't sign in you only get access to a hundred uh, search results a hundred different keywords that Google finds whereas if you do sign in then you get um, 700 more so a total of 800 keywords to, to go and look for now that's not to say that you'll always find 800 keywords for your particular business in fact if you're doing it for local business you may find that it is only you know a few hundred but that's okay we're not really looking for volume here we're looking for the stuff that works and of course that's what I'm here to show you so obviously type in the first thing uh, to do is go and type in where it says word or phrase and type in the thing that you do plus the area that you do it in so in this case it's uh, I've put accountant London uh, or accountant in London now obviously I'm not an accountant but I've just used this for a demonstration uh, purpose really but the thing to do is type in the thing that you do and then your location but then also the thing you do plus the word in and then your location as well and then go down here to where it says advanced options and filters you need to open up this box and it will look like this and when you do that you need to choose uh, locations and languages as being United Kingdom you can put it to English as well if you want to but it will by default go to English you know if you're on the English version of Google and then further down here choose uh, desktop and laptop devices and then here from the filter ideas you need to select local monthly searches of more than and I would say 500 is a good start and then add another and then go to local monthly searches of less than 1500 okay now that's the top end of uh, how much uh, traffic you want that particular keyword to get now obviously you know I want to get you as much traffic as possible to your site but we do have to cut it off at a certain point and the reason I'm saying that is because as a local business for a start you don't need as much traffic to your site as you know an international business okay because you know you can't actually deal with massive amounts of volume uh, at least not initially if you're a more established business then perhaps you can but I would say you cut it off but also because if you go for anything more than about 1500 you'll find the competition gets so difficult that you won't rank for anything anyway because there's just too many people doing it already you'll also find that it's a very high competition for paid search and also that it's usually very expensive as a result so again this is all about being as cost effective as possible for your local business so I'd say 500 as a minimum and 1500 uh, at the top end so once you do that you did they need to go over to this side here where it says match types and unclick where it says broad and instead click where it says phrase okay now it's very very important that you do this because if you don't then you are going to come unstuck a bit later on and I'll explain a bit more about the difference between phrase and broad match uh, a little bit later on uh, in just a few moments actually if you've already kind of looked at my other keyword research video you'll know a bit about the difference between broad and uh, and you know exact match and phrase match already but uh, I'll, I'll just quickly recap it in a second 
So then you need to come down here and you need to go and click on search, okay? Now, if you change the, the match types, it usually actually runs the search for you automatically. The thing to do is go and click on where it says keyword ideas. And when you do that, you will get a whole list of different keywords. Now you'll notice here that I've got uh, a total of uh, the two keywords that I selected initially, plus 139 other keywords that are related to that particular thing. Now this is cool because what I need to now do is start to narrow down the different types of keywords that there are. And broadly speaking, there are two different types of keywords that you need to pay very, very close attention to. Get this wrong and you will be targeting the wrong keywords and you won't get uh, targeted traffic to your site in the same way. So here's the, the thing to, to really think about. The two types of searches are information searches and buying searches. That's kind of, for want of a better word, that's what I would say they, they were. And buying really is people who have an intent to actually purchase a service of some kind, whereas obviously information searches are just that. They're people looking for information about a topic, but it's a bit non-committal and it might not even lead to them actually you know, purchasing anything. So you need to be very aware of the difference between the two. And in this case, I would just say that the thing to watch out for is plurals of the actual words that you're looking for. So accountant in London, okay, so accountant singular in London gets 590 local monthly searches. Now I would say that's pretty good targeted traffic because if I type in accountant singular in London, I'm looking for an accountant in London, okay? If I type in accountants in London, then I'm gonna be doing a, some sort of information search where I want to compare the different accountants and I could even be not someone looking for an accountant at all I could be you know somebody who happens to be typing that in because they're doing some kind of research project or something like that you know so instead I want to make sure that I target people who have got more of a, a search intention for actually buying rather than a search intention that just uh, results in them looking for information so anyway, uh, that's that. So further down here, you can see accountant in London. That's good. Uh, let's have a little look at some of the others. Now, one thing I would suggest you do as well is have a look here at the CPC, which is the uh, cost per click. And where it says cost per click, you can actually click on that particular title and it will sort that column by how much it actually costs to advertise on that keyword. And if you click it once, then it will do it from the most expensive to the cheapest. If you do it the, uh, click it again, it will do it the other way around. So it will start right down there as the, uh, the lowest uh, cost per click all the way up to the highest, okay? So that's something you might also wanna pay attention to as well. So let's just go back here for a second and let's also look in terms of local monthly searches. Now, please be aware there's two columns here that you don't really need to pay any attention to uh, unless you're doing paid advertising. So the first one here is the competition column. You can actually ignore the competition column if you're looking to uh, use search engine optimization to dominate your particular niche or market. If you're not paying for advertising, then you can completely ignore competition because that only relates to how much competition there is for people paying for adverts down the right-hand side of Google. Now, global monthly searches, again, are fairly irrelevant because we're not looking for a global monthly market we're only looking for the local so instead just have a look at local monthly searches you also need to pay attention over there on the right hand side to the local search trends if you find that a local search trend is tailing off uh, like for example this one here for business accountants you can see that that is very slowly uh, on the decline it doesn't seem to be rising it seems to be going down you need to be very aware of that because you want to find ones that are rather than diminishing you want to find ones that are increasing, uh, or at least at a level. You know, if, if people are always looking for that thing, then that's a great sign. If more and more people are looking for that thing, that's even better. But uh, you don't want, just make sure you don't want to go into a market that is diminishing because in a year's time, you might find that there's nobody there at all and uh, that market has been you know, fruitless for you. So anyway, have a look through uh, some of these and see which ones are the most useful. And what we'll do is we'll have a look and we'll sort it here by keyword. So if I sort it by keyword, it immediately gives me all the things related specifically to accountancy. So I'll click on keyword and I'll have a little look through and I'll just see if I can find some keywords that would be good for us. Okay, so look, you see there's a lot of, uh, in this case, lots of accountancy jobs in London, okay? Now that's a dreadful search for someone who has a local business because unless you're looking to recruit somebody, you don't want to advertise on that particular keyword. Let's have a look down and say accountant in London, that's a good one, 590. And uh, let's have a look at the others. Uh, lots of others in different parts of the country, just there, interestingly. Uh, Glasgow, Birmingham, Manchester. 
Let's have a look down and see what else we can find. Again, more accounting jobs in London, accounting assistant, uh, accounting practices. Again, that sounds like an information search to me, as does accounting uh, recruitment. That's not really something we want to look for. Uh, let's have, okay, so here's an interesting one. Look, uh, certified public accountant. That's interesting. Obviously, if you're in the accountancy niche, then this is going to be really helpful to you. But I would say that you can actually take the word accountant and just substitute it for literally any other job. So if you're a plumber or a florist or whatever it is that you do, just simply take out the word accountant and put in florist and you'll have the same kind of uh, ability to search through here. So interestingly, people are looking in this case for a specific keyword, which is certified public accountant. That's very interesting. Uh, company accountant, also quite interesting. And these are things that you could actually rank for uh, in the search engines and also something you could advertise for as well. But you need to be very aware that it's a, uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one as well, find an accountant as well. Uh, that's another one. But again, that could be someone who is looking for a service. The, now, the way to find out and take the guesswork out of all of this, because I am guessing at what some of these mean, the way to take the guesswork out of it is to come up and look for uh, one of the particular keywords. So let's say this one, accountant in London. We'll click on it and then click on where it says Google search and open up the Google search like this. Now, you then need to make sure that you actually turn this into a phrase match, okay? Because this will tell you who is really seriously competing with you for this particular keyword. In this case, I've got about 240,000 results uh, of pages that are competing with that particular keyword, okay? Looking to rank for that key phrase. So 240,000, in my mind, is a bit high, okay? I want to find out instead uh, more like 100,000 or even less. Like if I can get, you know, 80 or even you know even as low as sort of 40 or 50,000 then that's really the holy grail that's the one that you really want to uh, to target so keep looking and keep trying to find uh, ones that have got you know a, a, as, as little competition as you can possibly find really because those are the ones you want to rank for and within your market you might have to kind of drill down quite deep but you might find that people let's say for example you're a florist people might specifically be looking for a type of flower uh, in London well, if that's the case, I'm pretty sure not many other people will be targeting that keyword quite as well uh, or as specifically as that. So you might be able to kind of get in there and be the person who does that. Equally, if you're in, I don't know, the building supplies trade, you know, if that's what you do, then there could be builders out there who are searching for a particular thing that only a certain number of people do. And if you provide that service, then you can go and advertise on that particular keyword. And again, it will give you a, a, a yeah, huge amount of benefit for doing that because, again, you'll be one of the few people in your niche or market, uh, especially in your location, who is actually doing that. Now, I'm also going to talk a bit, well, in, very shortly, actually, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, mobile and mobile searches because for certain niches that is hugely hugely powerful uh, and I'll be talking about that in just a second but let's just go back to the Google keyword tool so what I suggest you do is you go through this list and you just keep looking for um, you know keywords that appear to be someone looking for a specific uh, thing that they're looking for so for example um, you know accountant in London they're looking for an accountant in London they're not looking for accountants in London it's not an information search so look for buying keywords as you go through this list uh, make sure you go through the whole thing as well uh, just highlighted that for some reason so you go through this whole list right here and you know make sure that you have a look and see which ones you think would be useful you know right down here look you see laborer jobs in London well that's totally irrelevant to what I'm looking for you know I want to just look for stuff that is related to in this case accountancy and again you might find that there are more or less keywords for this particular thing now you might also want to search for um, keywords that are a bit more conversational in the way they're structured. You see, you and I, as people who are business people, generally speaking, we're going to be better at searching online than people who are not business people. Okay. Now it may well be that the people who are searching for your services are not really business people, and so they're not particularly good at going to Google and just typing in, you know, florist London, for example, to find a florist. They might be typing in things like. Um, find someone who can provide flowers for my wife in London. You know, that's a really long keyword, but somebody could be typing that in. So you might want to start looking at longer phrase keywords as well. So for example, um, accountant, uh, let's see, accountant for business. Okay, let's just try that. Well, let's try freelance accountant as well. Let's try that. So freelance, as I'm making this up off the top of my head, but uh, freelance accountant in London. Again, let's just see what happens when we type these in. And again, these might just give us a few ideas as we go down that list. So again, let's have a quick look. Again, we'll sort it via the keyword and see what we find. Anything uh, of useful. Uh, again, let's just have a look through those particular things. Okay, so tax accounting there. Small business bookkeeping I just saw as well. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Let's just change the keyword search and order it differently. 
So let's have a look. Yes, yeah, small business bookkeeping. Okay, that's something that most uh, businesses, most accountants have a need for. Okay, so small business bookkeeping, um, small business accountants. Again, that's probably information, but that small business accountant singular is something you could definitely go and rank for. So those sorts of things right there, you know, it, it's just about finding the little gems as you go through the search. And those gems are out there, but it's just a question of looking for them. Um, and, you know, small business bookkeeping, I'm sure probably has uh, a bit less in terms of the actual kind of search results. Uh, in terms of people who are actually trying to to target it. Uh, okay, no, slightly more. Okay, so 269,000 results right for that. Now, like I say, this isn't my market. I know nothing about it, but it's just worth you going in. And obviously, you know your market much better than I do. So go in and see if you can start to find those little gems uh, that are usually longer tail keywords. So, for example, in my case, rather than targeting how to do keyword research or in fact rather than targeting keyword research I could target how to do keyword research for a small business that's a long tail keyword that people are interested in actually searching for so again that's something that I can target right now in my business for this particular video so it's about finding those longer keywords that you can uh, have a look for now very quickly before I go on um, I want to show you one last thing which is this if you come up here rather than searching for a particular keyword and then looking for laptop and desktop devices have a look for all mobile devices instead now I'm just gonna give you a quick example right here let's say okay um, Indian restaurant London okay um, oh, and also, here's another idea for you, just while I think of it. It's also worth searching for best whatever it is in your particular area. So best accountant in London or best florist in London. It's amazing how many people actually search for that thing because they want the best. And incidentally, those people are highly qualified because if they're searching for the best, they're usually more than likely to pay for the best, which means they're likely to pay for you know more for whatever the service is because they know that you're the best at it. If you can rank for that, you know, let's say that you come number one in the search results for, you know, best plumber in London. Well, if you're the best plumber in London, according to Google, it gives you a huge amount of kudos with your customers. As soon as they hit that front page of Google and they see that you are there as being uh, the best one in London, then immediately it gives you credibility, which, um, you know, is, is absolutely brilliant for business. So that's another a little tip for you. So best, let's try this one, best Indian uh, restaurant London. Okay, so just there, best Indian restaurant London. Again, keep my searches 500 to 1500. And then just have a quick look down that list. Now, interestingly right here, look, um, Indian restaurant London gets 1,900 searches a month. And uh, it's got a very, very high and, and rising local search trend. Now, what's very interesting about this is because I've, set, I've selected mobile devices, the cost per click is a lot lower, okay? The cost per click for best Indian restaurant, in fact, let's just try it and have a look. Let's see, I'm imagining it's probably double uh, what it would be for a mobile device. So let's have a look what it is for desktop. Okay, yeah, I was pretty much right. You can see there, look, um, Indian restaurant London, 86 pence, okay, to charge for to uh, get a click for that. Whereas a click for the local mobile version uh, is a lot less. Uh, if I click on that and click search, then again, it's just 38 pence. So what I'd suggest you do is have a little think and you know find out if you are one of those uh, industries or one of those people who could provide something that people are gonna be searching for on their phones. Remember, if you're searching on your phone, you're probably out and about somewhere. And if you're out and about, then you're looking for an immediate answer to something now. Now, obviously the restaurant business is a great example, but it could also be you know things like, for example, the building trade. Let's Say you're, um, let's say that you're a builder, you're working on a site and you realize that you haven't got a tool that you really need or you haven't got you know, a rule plug that you really need for a particular fitting on a wall or you have you know, anything like that. Well, immediately the, the first thing that you do is pull out your phone and find out who in the local area can do that particular service. So again, that's something else that you want to bear in mind. Are you one of those things or are you one of those people who can provide those things that people are looking for uh, locally and that they're going to be out and about when they're searching for it? So once you go ahead and do that, you'll have a much better idea of what you can target. Also, one little tip for you just before I go, um, this is that you should go ahead and check out Google Places. And there's actually a video on my site all about Google Places and how you can actually go and get yourself a uh, front page ranking on Google just by using the Google Maps feature, uh, which is now called Google Places. So go ahead and set up your profile there as well, and that will help your local business no end. So thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe for all the latest tips, tools, and news from the world of online marketing. If you have any questions at all please leave them below in the comments section and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible with a, uh, a solution for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you again very soon.